Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tino and I'm back with another video. Before I go ahead and continue with this video, if you're seeing me for the first time and you just are getting to know me and you don't know me before, my name is Tino. I'm a lover of fragrance, beauty, lifestyle, and skincare. If that is your juice and you like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you absolutely love this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel grow. It really shows that you really support my content. Also, don't forget to drop your fragrance of the day. The spring sale officially launched on April 5th. I am a VIB Rouge, so I already have been shopping. I've actually made my purchase already. I wanted to talk to you guys about some of my top pick fragrances, body care, and a little splash of skincare. And I do have a little freebie for you guys. I have a coupon code that I can give to one of you guys. Whoever comments first on this video will be getting that coupon code if you live in the US and you can be able to shop and save 20% off your purchase. The same coupon code that I get as a VIB Rouge member and it's a one-time use coupon code. If you leave me the first comment and you live in the US, you'll be getting that coupon code. I will give it to you. All you gotta do is leave me your details uh, on my Instagram. Go on my Instagram and basically DM me and let me know who you are, your YouTube name. I would just basically DM you back with a screenshot of the discount code and you can use that to make your purchase. And you have to the eighth actually to make the purchase. So now let us get on and talk about these products real, real fast. So I'm going to talk about these body sprays that are sitting right next to me because they're really close. These are from the Sol de Janeiro line. You have the Brazilian Crush Charosa 62. This is the pistachio salted caramel one. This is one of my favorites. Absolutely, you can see there's a dent in there. I actually made another purchase of the eight ounce bottle. I don't understand why I even got the small size to begin with, but I think I was more or less trying to figure out if I love the fragrance or if I don't like the fragrance. This one has top notes of pistachio, almond, and mid notes of heliotrope, jasmine, petals. The base notes are vanilla, salted caramel, and sandal wood i love this one it's such a great layering fragrance for my gourmand fragrances i absolutely love to pair this with the viva more the popcorn caramel fragrance i like to pair it up with that i like to pair it up with a lot of my caramel scented fragrances that i have in my collection it goes well with it and it kind of makes the fragrance smell really delicious and decadent i love it it's actually quite long lasting for a body spray I absolutely am obsessed with that one. The next one is the Churosa 68. This is the one with the jasmine and the pink dragon fruit. This one is more of a floral, fruity kind of fragrance. It kind of smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. It has top notes of pink dragon fruit, lychee accents. The mid notes are Brazilian jasmine, ocean air, and hibiscus. And then the base notes are Chev vanilla, sun musk. Like I said, if you like that Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA, you're gonna absolutely be obsessed with this one. You're gonna love to slather this on. I love this one too. This is one of my favorites. The one that I have my eyeballs on is the Chiro. 71 that one is another gourmand kind of scent I actually have been trying to get the full size the full size is hard to find but the half size is more or less the one that's available so that's another one and I think that might be a good one to pick I will tell you a little bit about the discounts for the Sephora so 10% discount is actually for the Beauty Insider stage and then the 15% off is for the VIB members and then the 20% is for the VIB Rouge members. So the other body kit that I really love, I love to pair the Charosa 62 Brazilian Crush with the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream in the same scent. These are absolutely stunning together. If you want to amplify the scent of this, get the Bum Bum Cream and you will have a delicious, decadent, gorgeous smell in the body. Not only does this make you smell good, it does tighten the skin, it does help reduce the appearance of stretch marks and all that good stuff. So it has a lot of good, good ingredients in there. I think it has gu guarana or something. There is something called guarana in this. 
it it's really really great and i absolutely am obsessed with these two products the other things i want to talk about that are skincare wise are from glow recipe these are currently my favorite glow recipe products look at this look at this this is just pitiful look how much is left in this it is so pitiful look at this just a little bit i need to actually add this to a cart and get this this is the strawberry smooth bha and aha salicylic serum this is supposed to clarify and retexture the skin if you have lump and bumps like me ever since i started wearing a max at work the max breaks out my skin i think i'm allergic to the components they used to make the max every time i wore it i always get a pimple or breakout around the parameter of where the max was on my skin i always love to put this on because it has salicylic acid because that is a great great property to help with acne and it's been helping to calm my skin down i do have some remnants of you know little bits there are little bumps and bumps on my skin but this really helped retexturize my skin and makes it more smooth the other one is the watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops this is really great for retexturizing as well and it also gives me a nice glow girl i think i'm almost empty on this too it's ridiculous okay i'm halfway but still, like I use these products really religiously and that's why I look like I'm almost done with them. The next product that I really, really enjoy is a Murad product. This is the Resurgence Retinol Young Renewal Serum. And this is supposed to help with fine lines. It's supposed to help retexturize the skin. It's supposed to help lighten dark spots on the skin as well. And you know, it's really, really great. But I will tell you to use this sparingly if you don't know the type of skin you have, if you don't know you have sensitive skin. This one kind of made my skin really dry. So I kind of was wearing it like one day on, two days apart, and it helped quite a bit in the dryness of the skin. So I will tell you when you're wearing this, do not mix this with vitamin C. Wear this alone because it really kind of do not work together. They actually kind of cancel each other out. So you're really just not getting the effects of the product when you mix vitamin c with it you just use this alone and use your regular moisturizer and i'm telling you you will see a great youth for appearance i've noticed it with this uh product this product is quite expensive i think about 80 bucks but it's really good i really really enjoy it so that's another recommendation that i recommend that you can get if you're having these skin issues like me i would recommend you get them for the sephora cell and save you a bang with the you know the discount we're gonna talk about perfumes yay um i'm obsessed with perfumes of course you guys know the first fragrance we're gonna talk about is black opium le parfum this is my favorite black opium ever the original black opium can have seats in the back and this one is gonna sit in the front this one is boozy vanilla there is not a boozy accord to this this is more of a musky orange blossom three types of vanilla kind of fragrance. This has coffee notes as well, but the coffee note is taking a seat back. It's not so prominent. For the people that don't like coffee notes, you are not going to be uh, unhappy with this fragrance. You're gonna love it because the coffee note is in there, but it's very light. It's not heavy, it's not screechy, it's not obnoxious. This is just a dreamy, fluffy, yummy gourmand, vanilla fragrance if you're looking for something that you can wear year-round i absolutely recommend this this is not just for cold weather i think you can wear this in summer spring fall winter all seasons it does not project a ton it's more of a moderate projection more of a i think a moderate siage but it will leave a lasting power it does last quite a bit on um, the longevity part I absolutely love it and I do recommend it for the Sephora VIB sale. If I haven't talked about this fragrance enough, you guys are gonna think I'm cuckoo gagas. This one is from Burberry. This is Burberry Goddess. This is another vanilla fragrance. I absolutely love vanillas, if you can't already tell. This one has vanilla caviar, vanilla, vanilla, vanilla overload. <laughs> and it has a bit of lavender. It's just that, vanilla, lavender, done well. It's kind of the cousin to Libre, but not Libre. 
this is more wearable like for people that hate lavender because lavender tends to be more masculine you're gonna love this fragrance you're gonna be obsessed you're gonna want to spray this every single time you're gonna want to slather yourself with this you're gonna want to sniff it all the time that's what I feel with this fragrance it's just a comforting fragrance it's like a cuddle cuddle moment like if you're trying to cuddle with your fiance your boyfriend your husband <laughs> sometimes I just sit down and take a whiff of this fragrance like a crazy person that's how obsessed I am with this fragrance and I suggest you get your hands on this if you have that discount now the next fragrance I'm gonna talk about is the Valentino fragrance this one is like you can see the dents in here girl I love this fragrance this is Valentino Donna born in Roma the original the OG the first one that kind of blew things out the water this one guys absolutely obsessed if you love black current this is the fragrance for you this is a black current jasmine vanilla fragrance absolutely obsessed it has a very citrusy vibe with the bergamots but when you get that sort of mid notes that jasmine with the tea vibe comes in there and has a little moment i love this fragrance it's such a great girly kind of fufu -fu la la but not too sweet it's not really really sweet but it's kind of a girly fun fragrance i feel like anyone can wear this any age bracket can enjoy this like a 17 year old can pull this off a young girl like in the 20s can pull this off and if you're in my 30s you can pull this off this is an absolutely delicious smell sexy kind of fragrance i absolutely am obsessed with this one and i recommend this if you're looking for something that's really appealing because a lot of people tend to hate niche because it's a little more complex but this one is more linear but it's more mass appealing so yeah i suggest you get this if you are looking at the sale and you're looking for what to get next fragrance we're going to talk about is from victor and roth this is good fortune elixir this one guys the juice on this kind of describes how beautiful this fragrance is people think that this fragrance is grandma-ish old vintage but i don't care i love this fragrance for what it is it is a vanilla a very heavy vanilla white floral fragrance it's very aromatic it's a little bit of balsamic in there this is a stunning fragrance it has top notes of incense and you get some really really smoky vibe at the top at the mid notes you get some jasmine and you get some solo notes which kind of makes it very wearable for spring and summer in my opinion and then you get bourbon vanilla palo santo and some sandalwood oh this is such a good one i love this fragrance for what it is and i absolutely adore it if you love the scent profile of this fragrance you like something that's aromatic something that's really balsamic something that's really incensey you're gonna like this fragrance it is such a good fragrance and it's a little bit of powderiness to this fragrance as well i feel like the palo santo might be doing that to the fragrance it kind of gives a woody vibe and it also gives a powdery vibe to it so i absolutely love this i feel like it's really great to wear i think more nighttime appropriate it's a little dark as well so i think if you're going out on a date you will enjoy this kind of fragrance because of the dark nature in it it's a little dark and mysterious in my opinion and i believe it'll give you good fortune so again <laughs> This is Victor and Roth Good Fortune. I really, really recommend this for the sale and I will move on to the next fragrance. Another Victor and Roth fragrance that I really am obsessed with, paid full price for. <laughs> I kind of wish I waited to the sale, my crazy butt. This was like $180. Okay, so this is the Victor and Roth Flower Bob and Tiger Lily. This is another absolutely stunning fragrance. This is mango, coconut, I believe benzoin oh my god this is a great great fragrance i feel like you could wear for summer spring it has a little bit of bergamot at the top kind of gives it a little citrusy vibe it is not super super long wearing it's more like you know six to seven hours wear but it's really great i love the smell it smells like something i don't have it's not groundbreaking it's not like i've never smelled this type of mango before but this is a great fragrance now it's done i really absolutely love it it's very mass appealing people will love this on you i've gotten compliments on it that's probably why i like it so much because people are telling me it smells good i absolutely love it 
it is great on projection for the first four hours and then it goes down to more of a skin scent by the fifth hour. I think if you're a mango lover, this is another one I recommend that you add to your collection if you are looking for that mango fragrance for the summer and spring. Again, this is Flower Bombs Tiger Lily by Victor and Roth. I will move on to the next fragrance. So the other fragrance I'm absolutely obsessed with, look at this fragrance. I just turned it upside down because yeah. And this one is by Muggler. This is Alien Goddess Intense. This one is another fragrance that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's coconut, it's jasmine, it's bergamot, it's jasmine tea, it is benzoin, it's vanilla, cashmere. This one, it's another well done from Muggler. I love this one because it stays true to the Alien original one without you know, making it too much on the Jasmine. The Jasmine and Alien is obscene. I have the original OG Alien before they got brought and turned into Muggler. I got the one from Terry Muggler and it's, you know, beast mode. If you're looking for a Jasmine fragrance and you are able to get your hands on the OG, like it's really, really beast mode. This one is beast mode. It still lasts quite a bit, but it's more solar. It's really great for summer. It's great for spring. It kind of gives me tropical vibes due to that coconut. It kind of just makes me feel like I'm at the beach. You know, I'm having suntan lotion on. It has no suntan lotion vibe, but that's what I get from this. This is a really, really, really beautiful, beautiful, stunning, jasmine scented, floral tropical fragrance and I recommend this if you're looking to get a new fragrance during the sale and you don't have this in your collection. We're going to talk about these two commodity fragrances because these are my favorite. This is commodity milk plus. This one is absolutely one of my favorite milk fragrances. This is milk done well. It has I think mahogany in there. It is just a marshmallow goodness with milk. It's not too sweet where it's cloying. It's very creamy, it's very decadent. It's very, you know, soft, delicate. I think this fragrance could be worn for a wedding if you're a bride. That's how, you know, soft and, you know, silky it is. It smells really, really absolutely stunning on the skin. It is a gourmand that's done more on the woody side. This fragrance I think could be worn year round as well because of the milky nature of it. Even though it does have some roots that gives a kind of, you know, fall X kind of vibe, like it's a fall fragrance when it's actually something you can wear for spring and summer. I love this fragrance a lot and I really, really, truly, truly recommend it if you're looking for a milk kind of scent. Now the next one is Commodities Gold Expressive. This one is Juniper Berries Done Well. This is such a creamy, kind of sweet kind of fragrance. Something here is kind of lighthearted. Like I feel like someone that is a bride can still wear this. This is actually the one that I recommend more for a bride than anything else. It kind of smells like there's something lacy about it. There, like there's a lace note in here because it kind of gives me, you know, that vibe of a, of a bride wearing white. This one is such a beautiful one. Uh, everyone that smells this on me, they like it because it's so mass appealing. There is nothing too crazy about this. It's one of my favorite commodity fragrances and I really, really think you should get your hands on this in the Sephora sale because it is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and I think a woman that smells this will smell like a woman. It's more feminine in my opinion. I feel like a classy lady will put this on and will make a statement. Again, this is Commodities Gold Expressive. The next fragrance is gonna be my final fragrance and recommendation for the sale. This is by Killian. It's Apple Brandy on the Rocks. This one is a delicious brandy kind of fragrance. It smells like an apple pie and the apple pie is drenched in the liquor. I think it has brandy and it has rum. It has some cardamom, some bergamot at the top, then you get the green apple with the rum and the brandy. And then it also has some touches of pineapple in this. And then you get some really great abroxin and cedar in the base. This is a great, great fragrance. I think this is another fragrance that I think you could wear all year round and still 
be fine and not kill nobody with your fragrance this is something that is gorgeous sexy and beautiful i feel like anyone that wears this will command a statement to be honest this is a unisex that leans more feminine although it's a unisex fragrance i think a woman can pull this off better than a man <laughs> because of all these fruity notes like the pineapple is really really delicious and sweet and then you get the apple in there the only thing that makes it a little more unisex is the liquor notes that are in here i really absolutely love this fragrance and i absolutely recommend it it has great projection great longevity and great siage as well again this is by killian it's apple brandy on the rocks again this is something i recommend if you're trying to get some perfumes during the sephora sale that completes my video guys if you guys enjoyed this video and you're shopping for the sephora sale please leave me a comment down below let me know what some of your top picks are what you are actually shopping for right now um let me know down in the comments down below i would like to know and also don't forget to leave your fragrance of the day i really want to know what you guys are smelling like what you're rocking you know why i want to know what you're smelling like because I really literally go and look at the notes of these fragrances. I'm a little stalker. I'll be stalking it on Fragrantica like this, trying to find out what notes they are. And if they're notes that I do like, I do try to get the fragrance because you know, I'm obsessed. <laughs> And you guys will be still in my wallet like every time you guys put something in there or a combo you guys lately have been leaving combos down below and guess what i've been doing i've been writing down the combos because i want to try them out and if i do like them i think i'm gonna do a video and i'm gonna say combos based on subscribers and i will talk about the combos and i'll kind of let you guys know if i like it and other people can find that video useful if they're looking for layer on combos i don't know if you guys like that type of video but i think that's on the works because i've been getting so many combos from you guys and i've been trying them they're so amazing it's amazing how many fragrances you can layer and make something good out of it so thank you guys so much for your support i really really appreciate the support you've been giving me on my videos thank you guys so much for the likes the comments the sharing of the videos i really really appreciate it don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it don't forget to share it comment down below with the yellow heart emoji i really want to know if you rock with me to the end of the video thank you again and i'll see you in another video i love you bye